one, two, three, one, two, three. And hello, fellows. Hero Gone the Game Dev here. Now, I know it's been at least two months or so since last time. I've had to deal with a lot of things. And right now, Instagram has been acting a little crazy on any videos that are probably longer than eight minutes or even five, give or take. So for today, I intend to at least cover three of the videos where we left off. And that would be around Sang's Menu Part 2. So I will be covering Sang's Menu Part 3, 4, and utilizing Sang's in match. So far, things have been okay for the, my fighting game. Albeit slow, slow progress. First up, parts 3 and 4 cover a bit of improvements to the whole thing. And if you notice, what I do is far, far different from what Sean the Bro has done right around here. So, please don't take my stuff as being the same as Sean's. He does things very differently. And in part three, he went over adding the buttons to the settings and options menu, as mentioned in the text right here, and updating some menu sound effects. Part four involved configuring different button styles, like what's seen here. That way, you could have your you could see any sort of stuff you save for your settings. In my case, I do wish I could implement that, but due to my stuff being different, that's not entirely possible for now anyways. Then, finally, utilizing settings and match involves some improvements to the main game HUD, which can be dynamic based on the number of rounds and round time. Again, thanks to the text here, here, which mentions that. Now, going into uh, my game itself, then we have ourselves the gameplay screen, which is pretty much more text-based than anything else. If we go into our event graph, or rather my event graph, we go into here, we switch on into using current option index, and then set keyboard mode selection, and we pretty much use a few things around. Set keyboard mode, and for execute 1, we set it to 1, and if not, then back to 0, I guess. And this is all due to switch on int right here. And it's a do menu left and right. Now, granted, my stuff is still in the works on this part, so if we go into here, I'll show you why me. Going into settings, we can choose disabled or enabled for all players on one device, aka keyboard mode. For round time, we can choose from options like 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 99, 120, and the good old infinite. So for here, let's choose infinite. Then rounds to win, I will choose 5 to show off a few of the things. Then we go down into save settings, I will be pressing confirm and it makes a sound, but do note that even though it does save out these exact little values here, if we quit out and go back into settings, things are back to the way it was before. I unfortunately do not have any sort of little fix for that yet. 
Hopefully, when Sean gets around to it, I could probably have something better up. Now, going into the base GM HUD itself, we have a bit of updates. In particular, these little round icons here. These, in particular, will have a appear based on how many rounds you've chosen to win. If you choose two rounds, you just have two stars appearing. And of course, there's the usual updating stuff and all this here. We can determine the number of round circles to display right in this function. Now, going into the gameplay itself, for that part, we will choose Beachside Karate Dojo, and then add a mortem. Then we can skip the intros here, and then would you look at that? We have ourselves five stars right here. And of course, there's been a bit of issues here and there, but I am so far doing a little bit okay. With that being said, this is a part one of me trying to catch up to everything. Hopefully I can get this video out soon, even if it is shorter. Expect the next few parts from around adding mirror burn commands, auto-detecting controllers, upgrading end results, and wake up rolling to happen at later dates for catching up. Once again, credit goes to Sean the Bro for all of his tutorials. If you're wanting to make an Unreal Engine video game, then I'd suggest trying his tutorials. They are so far pretty good for me. And as of July 20th, it's now officially 10 years old, so Sean's been around here for a long time, even though he has only gotten into the uh, Unreal Engine tutorials at least three years ago. So, yeah, things have been pretty okay. So thanks guys for tuning in to uh, this fighting game fun log. But for now, I will be seeing you all later. I've been Hero Gone, you've been you, and goodbye.